In this video, we will be practicing with some density calculations. So here is the formula for calculating density. This rho symbol represents density, which equals the mass of something over its volume. Now mass can be measured in any unit, but we will likely use the unit grams for representing mass, and milliliters or cubic centimeters for representing volume. Combining these two units, we get the units for density, which are grams per milliliter or grams per cubic centimeter. Now for finding the density of a regular solid, you want to find the mass of the solid using a balance, measure the dimensions using a ruler, and then use geometry to find the volume. Then use the equation to calculate the density, which would be in grams per cubic centimeter. Just a reminder that a regular solid is an object that has specific measurements, so there are no irregular sides to it, and you can use math to figure out its volume. An irregular solid doesn't have this, so we first find the mass using a balance, then we use water displacement. So we fill a graduated cylinder with a known volume, this one happens to go up to 200, we add the object, and the w amount of water displaced is its volume. Now you'll notice this is measured in milliliters, but we're measuring the volume of a solid. So we can easily convert that to cubic centimeters because a milliliter is a cubic centimeter. Finally, we use our equation to calculate density. Now determining the density of a liquid is a little bit different. First, you'll put a graduated cylinder on a balance, hit the tear button to zero it out, add a certain volume, and this will be your milliliters, Record that mass, which will be your grams, and use the formula to calculate density. So here's a practice problem. You want to find the density of a rock. You have 40 milliliters of water in a graduated cylinder. When you add the rock, the level rises to 46 milliliters. What this tells me is that the rock is 6 milliliters in size, which is equal to 6 cubic centimeters, and the mass of the rock is 24 grams. So we need to find the density of this rock. So I'll set up our equation. Density is equal to mass over volume. The mass is 24 grams, and the volume is 6 cubic centimeters. This equals 4 grams per cubic centimeter. Just a reminder that the, the density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. So the rock would sink if you threw it in water because it's more dense than water. Here's another question. I threw a plastic ball in the pool for my dog to fetch. The mass of the ball was 125 grams. What must the volume be to have a density of 0 .500 grams per milliliter? Of course, you want the ball to float, so it has to be less than 1 gram per milliliter. I'm going to solve this by rearranging the density equation. So if density is equal to mass over volume, then mass would equal volume times density, and volume would equal mass over density. So our mass is 125 grams, and our density is 0 .500 grams per milliliter. So our volume must equal 250 milliliters. Or, because we're measuring the volume of a solid, this would equal 250 cubic centimeters.